today's topic uh, we'll discuss about cloud watch so I have been saying uh, now and then on the previous classes about the cloud watch so let me tell you about a overview brief uh, about this cloud watch cloud watch is an AWS service it is used to monitor the resources their health their utilization and according to the monitors what he, they monitor what let us say assume you wanted to monitor your instance in EC2 service so you have to enable CloudWatch on EC2 service of that particular instance so it will monitor the every event that happens with that instance like power off power on shutdown restart and not only it monitors the events it also monitors the utilization of that particular instance what what kind of utilization CPU utilization RAM utilization I mean memory hard disk utilization network in and out flow such kind of things it will monitor and not only the monitor it also stores the logs of that instance for example you had a web server in that instance and you wanted to monitor the logs of that web server ever hit your server website ever yourself that also this CloudWatch can monitor the logs of that instance and it can store the logs and you can define the threshold on the monitoring of that matrices what kind of threshold why should I define threshold let us say <coughs> you wanted to get notified when your CPU utilization of the instance crosses 80% in such scenarios you have to define the threshold at 80% and you have to attach a monitoring service sorry and you have to attach a notification service to that threshold value so that whenever your CPU utilization crosses more than 80% it will notifies you what are the notification services available with Amazon as an as simple notification service it can notify you through email it when it can notify you through SMS it depends upon you how you create your SNS topic and you attach the topic to this CloudWatch on particular instance So, uh, basically, uh, let me open up a notepad for you. monitoring log capture notifications okay it will monitor and it will showcase you the output in matrices matrices are nothing but graphs okay it will send notifications through SNS, email, or SMS. So we use we use CloudWatch for monitoring the resources 
and capturing the logs of the resources and defining the threshold and notifying ourselves through email or SMS. So we'll, we'll, I'll directly pull you to the console part of this Cloudhost service. You can find this CloudWatch under the category of Management Tools category of AWS Dashboard. Here it is. Monitor resources and applications. I said you right. It not only monitors the network in and out traffic flow of the resource, utilization of the resource. It also monitors the applications that are installed on the resources like Apache logs it will capture and it will store the logs. That also can be possible with the help of this CloudWatch. That's the reason he called monitor resources and applications. And not only are here we need to talk about that particular EC2 instance. Even it monitors the S3 storage. S3 he is offering you as a SaaS service, you know that. He is offering as an application to you. You can monitor the different kind of uh, SaaS services of AWS. So CloudWatch is restricted to one region and please keep in mind CloudWatch is restricted to one region. Right away I was in in Virginia region. Let me switch to my Mumbai region. So whenever you log into AWS console, AWS dashboard, first thing which would I'll see in which data center right now I connected to which region. Mumbai, Virginia, whatever it is. First your mind should go which in which region you are connected. So here it is. So like let us assume I'll create an alarm. So what to whom what should I create alarm? Let me launch an instance in this uh, region. Okay, instance school let go. We'll launch an instance under the free tire in this particular region. I'll go to EC2 service. Zero instances launch instance. What instance should I launch? I'll go with Ubuntu. Or else you can go with the Red Hat. Free tier eligible. Okay, I launched it at micro with one virtual CPU and one GB RAM. How many instances I want to launch? One instance. In which VPC default VPC, in which availability zone I launch in one year. Auto ascend public IPS. So here, while launching the instance also, you can enable CloudWatch or detailed monitoring on it. So for this, he'll charge you an additional charges. What are the charges? So before we look into the pricing of AWS uh, CloudWatch service, let us have features and benefits. So monitor AWS EC2 instances, monitor other AWS resources. What are the other AWS resources? The EC2 instances like monitor just like CP utilization, data transfer, disk usage. For this, no additional charges for monitoring CPU utilization, data transfer, disk usage. But for monitoring in detailed 
uh, kind of uh, providing CloudWatch details like he'll charge you additional charges for CloudWatch provision detail monitoring for EC2 instances with higher resolution and metric acquisition. So far this he is not installing no additional softwares need to be installed on this EC2 instance. You will not install any other kind of package on your EC2 instance. You don't need to worry about that. Second feature is monitor other AWS resources. What are the other AWS resources? SaaS resources. What is that? EBS volume, DynamoDB that comes under the RDS. I, I will talk about this database uh, thing to, uh, next class. And monitor RDS DB instances. RDS and network service and relational database service with AWS. With the help of this service, you can launch database servers. So. Why, can, why I cannot launch the database servers even in EC2 instance? I can launch an EC2 instance and I can install the database server above that EC2 instance and I, can make the, and I can make that EC2 instance as a database server. Yes, you can make that also. Apart from this, here, you have to worry about this operating system uh, instance and the application that you installed. Application at a database. You have to worry about it. When you go with RDS service of AWS, here instance going to worry about do. You don't need to worry about that instance. You don't need to worry about the operating system that installed above that instance. You don't need to worry about the software of the database that you installed above that operating system. Here we we and the AWS guys will take care of that and we'll provide you this database service to you through RDS relational database service to customers as an SaaS service software as a service so here we'll take care of PaaS, PASs and IASs who AWS guy will take care of this are you getting me guys any doubts on this are you clear what I said RDS and a service ni vaadu manaki SaaS service ga offer chestunnadu manam ee service lo enti ante we can get em offer chestunnadu manaki database servers ni istunnadu ela SaaS service laga istunnadu so other Resources AWS AD monitor with the help of this cloud watch and RDS Amazon Elastic Map Reduce Job Flows or Elastic ELV Elastic Load Balancers. These are SNS topics. You can enable the cloud watch on SNS topics also. There are no cut topic radius and make maintain a message to SNS topics to any messages pump it. We can enable this cloud watch on that in detail on that SNS service of AWS. We'll see. And also it, it monitors and store logs. And also we can set the alarms on matrices by defining the threshold values. We can view the graphs and statistics. And also we can call through API and we can integrate this matrices to our product. And the graphs near values near logs near manamo API to call chase application programming interface to call chase we can integrate those logs or the matrix values to our product. Let us assume you are defining sorry you are developing a product. A product client and a meku okay CP utilization can be a server CP utilization a product law. So then with the help of this API services, you can call the CP utilization of that particular instance by integrating it with by integrating your product with CloudWatch. And a instance with a server with a CP utilization will capture your language to a server key. You have to enable the CloudWatch above that server. And what what happens after enabling the CloudWatch? So CloudWatch will continuously monitor your server and it will get the utilization of that server or instance. So, with the help of API application programming interface, you can call the values of your CPU utilization and you can integrate it to your product. Alagoda Ward Coach, the developer's point of view concept, what I said. So, what surprising he's charging for this.
under free tier you can get started with our aws cloudwatch for free okay what is offering under free we can receive three dashboards up to 50 matrices each per month at no additional charges he is offering you 50 matrices and 50 graphs varaki he is offering you for free and he is offering you basic monitoring matrices ante cpu utilization this avanni basic indiki vastai ec2 meeda adi time period enta least 5 minutes ala 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes you can see the in a matrix if you enable detail monitoring you can see the one minute matrix value also if you enable the detailed cloud monitoring on your ec2 instance for that he'll charge under the free tier he'll give you maximum five minutes graph and a minimum money minimum five minutes of the anger that we would so we'll see and how is charging at mumbai region for every dashboard he'll charge you dollars three per month for detail if you enable the detail monitoring on ec2 instance with one minute frequency at a pretty minute minute to capture just on the missy utilization and the memory utilization and then that for that scenarios he'll charge you 3.50 dollars per month on one instance and if you enable one alarm if you want to enable one alarm on that matrices he'll charge you 0 0.10 dollars per one alarm and alarm atomic alarm loud and god alarm alarm enable chase it pretty okay by that he, he, de he def deviated a different different pricing he amazon wadu yala ante prati chinna service koda he'll charge you in different different angles he crane up to naru for enabling the cloud watch he is charging you per month on ec2 instance for creating an alarm for that he is charging you some amount again alarm create yes aga ela ostundi manaki message email ostundi kada ante for that we have to integrate sns to our this cloud watch kada malla akada sns lo for every message for every email he will charge you so ante pricing meeda you have to get a very good experience you have to go through all the pricings so overall it's like 3.50 plus 0 0.10 dollars per plus any sms also any sal trigger out of 80 percent class i and sms is key and the amount sns pricing will be true and also see for every event you capture he is charging you one dollar per million customized events For every GB you store, he's 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 charging you 0.67 dollars. If you want to retrieve that logs, a product like just a product key integrate to Alankun and Japan in the Coca scenario. Alan time low, you have to retrieve the logs. On that scenario, he's charging you 0.03 per GB archive. Archive. For again for every api request that you make from outside for that he is charging you 0 0.01 per thousand requests api requests see a lot a lot divided how he divided the pricing into different uh, scenarios So I don't enable the enable uh, this detail monitoring on this instance. We'll see. We'll go with the small kind of things. Okay, next add storage. I'll add an 8 GB of normal magnetic storage. I'll name this instance as test guess. I'll this is in default, I'll create a new new one. He is popping up a message saying that make 
you go with ssd ssd is more reliable and most fast and cheptunar no i'll go with the magnetic because he'll charge you a high price for ssd kind of storage What is the key pair? Key pair thirty three. Okay, I think I had that key pair. So my your instance is no launching. I wanted to see the instance status. We have instances. Any doubts, guys, on this topic? now i want to connect to this instance this linux instance so how do we do that i want one of you to explain i'll choose bharat explain me how do we connect to that instance and i want to log into that instance that we launched how do we do that yeah karthik can you come again uh, i can't hear you we launched one instance right and we named that instance as test case so now i want to connect to that instance and i want to authenticate into that instance i mean i want to ssh into that instance how do i do that mm. how do you connect to the linux instances parath you have to ssh mm -hmm. So, what are the applications that are available for SSH? Putty, in Putty. Putty, okay. I'll open Putty for you. Next. Yeah, we have to get the IP address of that instance. Yeah, we have to get the IP address of that instance. Where can I get the IP address of that instance? Ah. Uh, your public and uh, your okay i i need here it is the public ip of that my instance what i launched so i'll copy that public ip or i'll just type the public ip what is my public ip 35.154.61.251 okay mm. next Just open. I'm clicking on that open. I'll connect. Okay, I'll click on this open. Okay. What's what's no? Yes. Click on yes. Okay. Login as. Root. For here. Okay. Root. disconnected no supported authentication method you download the public key what right certificate my creating yeah. instance you have downloaded a key okay hello yes i downloaded yeah. a key with that key we have to so how do i pro how do i need to provide that key and where do i need to provide that key others madhu any idea
Monica, do you have any idea how do we connect? Sir, first we connect the uh, putty generator, sir. Putty key generator. Okay. Putty and then we can load that file to this PTM file. How do I need to load that file? Uh, first we can generate the key file to PTM file, sir. First we generate Okay. I already generated that by using the putty gen from PEM to PPK. Yeah. Then we can load the file to PPK. What is the key pair name? Key pair 33. It's here. Key pair 33. So where is my key pair 33? Where is stored key pair 33? Yeah, here it is. I had a key pair 33 of both PEM format and PPK format. Yeah. Okay, in my downloads. So how do I how do I connect now? Then we put the configuration load the file. Here. In put the configuration we need to load the file. Yeah. From here under the SSH. Yeah. Under SSH under authentication. You have to load the file here. What load, file? Load dot file. PPK file. This is the PPK file. This is what the PPK dot PPK extension you can paste on the other. Yes. No, I need to open it. Okay. Now it will ask. I'll type root. So he is what he is saying. He is telling us to authenticate by use by typing a user Ubuntu instead of root. Okay. Want to, please log in as the user Ubuntu, not as root. Under root. So yeah. I'll again open the putty. I'll paste the IP address. I'll go to SSH authentication. I'll choose the key pair 33 file. Open now here I'll type Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Yes, successfully I authenticated into this Linux server. This is how we connect to the Linux server. Odd voice, haven't I told this on last session or did I miss this connectivity type? I am sure that I explained all these things on the previous class. <coughs> yes sir, last week. So, let us go to this Cloudwatch service. So what is the instance name? test case manam betna name what is the instance unique id that given by aws for this instance this is what the instance unique id i'll copy this instance unique id control c and i'll go to cloudwatch services here on alarms not alarms on uh, cloudwatch uh -huh. matrices At Mumbai region, where do I launch the instance? It also I launch it in Mumbai region. Let me refresh this service. So on EC2, I had 28 matrices. Let me see the 28 matrices, what are they? So I'll search only my instance unique ID with unique ID. Those are all the disk read IOPS captures your Sunday network output. It is capturing CPU utilization 
I will check mark the CPU utilization. So, from past three hours, my CPU utilization of the server is this this dot. I'll go with one hour. I'll go with just. So we just started. It's been more than not minute, right? So small dot on a chill. So the CPU utilization is less than one percent. Here the one percent, zero point one. Give it some time, then it will capture the log. So under the matrices, I chose CPU utilization of what this instance, uh, instance ID NT this, and I can compare these two also CPU utilization of one and network inflow. Check mark. So CPU utilization here, network inflow is here. So time you only let it capture logs. If it launches and kada, give it some time, at least 10 to 20 minutes so that it it grab it takes that graphs and it will showcase us from here under the matrices you can see the matrix value of that instance you can create alarms under the alarm dashboard create alarm what kind of alarm on EC2 which instance control V type the instance what and what CPU utilization so are you looking guys so I want to create alarm on this particular instance of CPU utilization what kind of alarm first you have to define a threshold next name that alarm test case utilization 80 percentage description description of 80 percentage cross so whatever you can type you can type when if my matrix of what the CPU utilization of this particular instance instance identity this reaches the more than or equal to 80 percent see 80 percent print on the color less than one percent on the color it's in the blue color dot on the other then I should get an alarm I was creating an alarm and whom should this alarm should notify how what kind of actions it should state an alarm and it should get notified to end users how to which ID this email ID it should get it should trigger a email like that I can create an action on that alarm notification again I can add another add on one more notification these are all the notifications apart from this notification you you can also perform some other actions like launching a new EC2 instance or auto scaling your existing instance or new instances EC2 action when, when this when it reaches greater than or 80 percent of CPU utilization it should launch a new sorry it should for example EC2 instance should stop stop this instance or terminate this instance or restart this instance or recover this instance like this action you can perform on this particular EC2 instance or you can auto scale action you can group schedule first auto scaling group create JC server beta server on chain you can notify, you can auto scale, you can perform some actions on that particular EC2 instance. 
when it reaches greater than or equal to 80 percent actions in then we will define all this under the actions category so how many times if it reaches 80 percent for five times then only this actions has to be performed and every time period of chessy five minutes five times kadani alani one hour alani unta one time a do 80 percent that 90 percent kill like one hour unta as one time kadu for every five minutes it will consider it as one time five consecutive periods and five into five 25 minutes me 80 cp utilization 80 percent that if i know then kondi then it will perform this action because we are creating a alarm okay this is how we create alarm next even you can enable this cloud watch services on billing also let us say Naku Prashant last time Oksajoko session lo he asked me a question. Can we enable, can we monitor some services on this uh, building and can we get notified? Yes, with the help of this building, here you can enable the billing service on sorry, you can enable this uh, cloud was service on your building. Like you can specify whenever I cross this hundred dollars, I should get notified. like that you can create billing what is saying to enable this we he is telling us to switch to n virginia region okay we will switch to n virginia region where is that n virginia here it is billing So to enable this, he is telling us to go to accounts. Account and account the accounts. And from here on the preferences, and he is telling us to check the receive billing alerts box. A check mark chain. I put me here automatically enable out there. Check to not. Here. Excuse me. On this billing and cost management dashboard, left side preferences, receive billing alerts. You can check mark, just save, just not right Then it will start capturing your billing matrices. For enabling this billing, also he'll charge you some amount. And next coming to events so yeah let us assume if you want to get some notifications when some events occurred with some of the services of AWS that you can create here create rule what kind of event let us say I want to create an event on EC2 instance any state no I want to specify you are an EC2 instance in a EC2 instance in power of Chesnapur, I should get a notification. Because I'll create lot of IAM users under my root account and I'll give that users to different people. So if somebody did some action like shutting down an instance, so I should get notified, right? So for that I was enabling the EC2 instance action, specific action entity shutdown. If somebody did the shutdown, with what kind of instance, any instance is called specific instance. What is that instance? Give that instance ID. Oh, okay. Any instance I'm gonna. Because in in Virginia, hello, instance layer Kabati is not showing. Uh, if I switch to Mumbai region, he'll show me. Let me switch to Mumbai region. We launched an instance in Mumbai region, right? Okay. Go to EC2 specific action. What is that action? Shutdown. On what instance? 
this particular instance test case so whom should get notified to particular sns topic sns topic even then create it so if somebody did some action what kind of action shutting down so it will notify me through sns email or sms like that you can create rules on this cloud watch and also you can capture the logs for example if you want to capture the web server logs apache ever me website ni hit chesaru a ip address nunchi vachindi and what he loaded index.html file or what contact us page or home page service page products page what page he loaded everything you wanted to capture of the apache logs or you wanted to capture the kernel logs linux lo kernel anedi booting andi kernel logs or application logs everything can be possible with the help of this cloud watch service for that you need to install a small agent in your linux machine on which you wanted to capture the logs so first install the agent and you can monitor the logs with the help of this cloud watch so how do i install this agent to install this agent there is a procedure called install and configure cloud cloud watch logs agent on the running ec2 instance for example i want to install some agent so here is given specific run this commands to install your agent and node on to install or configure cloudwatch logs on your existing ubuntu server or centos server or red hat server mane enti ubuntu server first he is telling you connect to ec2 instance we connected already and install first you have to update your packages of the ec2 instance by performing a command apt get update apt get update so it will update all the packages of your linux so it is updating all the packages of your linux box next what he is saying to run this command curl and download and he is telling us to download and install this particular aws log agent hyphen setup dot py so we downloaded that package where is the package here it is the package now next he is telling us to install that package we have to specify the region where this exact uh, thing is located instance where is the region mumbai lo ekkada launch chesam availability zone one year lo launch chesam enti dan name aws global infrastructure aj names mumbai lot to entr to asian pacific mumbai north america 
South America, Africa, Asian Pacific, uh, Ireland, Yemen, better US was East type and Yemen better what names? Anyone check it? Where can I get the names? Something in the region name is on to me. We have to look at that. Or I can get that particular region name from VPC, I hope so. I'll go to VPC. Uh, here. So, sorry, AP South hyphen one and better. Mumbai. Control C. I'll copy this. I'll paste it. Sudo python command not from for this. I think we need to install the python first. M install sorry. You want together? Sudo app get install python star. So already python is there so there are a lot of things to be installed before we install python Permission denied. So I'll change. What is telling? Troubleshooting and Python is not installed. What we are looking for? Uh, how to install Python? Uh, he's setting up to install. Uh, no, he downloaded some package and he run this command to install that package. Python package. We don't have any package, so sudo easy install. Is 
yes install now we are installing these packages of python now we install we run the previous command and did so now the package is being installing this is how we install cloudwatch log package on that ec2 instance if you want to enable that on this particular or if you want to capture the logs of that particular instance and after installing this package package install is necessary after installing the package you have to configure you have to provide the aws access key secret key you have to create an iam user and you have to give the full permissions on that iam user for that particular service cloudwatch lo service ki full permissions ichi avanni configure cheyali you can find the in detail how to do that in this documentation see here is creating a policy he is telling us to allow pod actions create log groups create log stream put log events describe log stream on which aws cloudwatch resources logs star 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 so we create this policy and we attach this policy to one of the user and we'll add that particular user or we'll attach this policy to one of the roles and we attach that role to this whatever the package we installed here here now we have to specify the access key id for that particular role and everything then you can access key id in just anante i'll create a given access key id of that particular myself on a i am right click open a new tab i'll go to iam service where is that iam identity and access management service comes under the category of security and identity here it is under the users category i had a user one user very good what is his access key here it is access key control c i get that access key what is the secret key secret key appudu appudu download chesanna undo le gathale let me see downloads credentials credentials a lot of credentials are there yeah here it is access key and here it is secret key I'll copy the secret key control c access key ide kadandi last ki c u c a n undi yeah it's c u c a now i'll add the secret key default region name yes a b south east one default output format none so it is configuring the cloudwatch log event but before that we have to enable this permissions this policy permissions on this particular instance if user me the user kelly where is that user policies is user is attached to groups called test case so i'll go to test case groups so on this test case groups these are all the permissions i'll attach another policy what is that policy aws cloudwatch cloud watch cloud watch full access and you full access on for this user attach policy that's it we done with attaching the policy so where do you want to store upload files okay
There's all the different kind of options that you can find everything in detail within this documentation. How to install that and what to install, what to select, what is one, what is two. And, okay. This is how we install the CloudWatch. And next, coming to matrices, we told you already. From the matrices, you can see the values of that particular instance, CPU utilization, everything on this graphical part from the browser GUI, graphical user interface. So this is what all about this CloudWatch. Guys, any doubts on this topic of this CloudWatch? Hello? Hello? Yes, any doubts, uh, Hari? No, Karthik, but uh, uh, this Linux command itself, I need uh, uh, one more uh, time explanation regarding this one. Linux I'm commands, Hari, you have to uh, study, you have to learn this Linux commands, basic Linux commands. Like, uh, okay, okay. we'll have a class on this, no problem. Uh, the basic uh, command yeah, tools yes, class. Yes, yeah. What is LS, how to change the uh, file sure. system, uh, permissions, file permissions, user permissions, how to create a new user. We'll talk about this on one class. Okay, no problem. Uh, that's it, yeah, thank you. Okay. Any other doubts, guys, others? Oh, no doubts from Raghava. What about you, Bharat? Any doubts? No, no, no doubts. No doubts. And Madhu, Madhu is clear. Okay. And Monica, any doubts on this topic? Hi, no doubt. No doubts. Okay, good. So, please go through this uh, CloudWatch AWS documentation. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for today.